Hey guys, it's Fat Basement Dweller, and today I want to show you how to install Optifine for the FTB launcher packs. A couple of people have made comments that they were having a lag with Mar Magic Farm 2 and maybe some of the other packs. So I want to see. This should help some of you, if not all of you, out. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is download Optifine and go to the Minecraft forums and search for Optifine and you'll find this thread. It's actually version 174, so we got to make sure we download the version for 164. So scroll down to the first post and look under here, the ultra version. The light version will not work. I've tested this. I don't know about the standard version. If you want to try that, feel free, but I'm telling you, I use this one and this one worked. So we need to go under here where it says older versions and click show and then find the first one that says 164 and download it and I've already done that I have it here on the desktop and so now you want to open up your FTB launcher highlight magic farm 2 or whatever mod pack you want to install this for you have to do it for each one unfortunately now instead of launching the game we want to click edit mod pack and that will open up this particular window from there, we click Open Folder, and that'll open up the Mods folder. And you just want to take this, copy, and paste it into the Mods folder here. Make sure when you paste it, you do it on some empty white space and not on top of these other files. Otherwise, it'll put it in the zip or jar files, and you don't want that. Now, you have to do one more additional step, and that is to go into this folder. Once you're in the 1.6 folder, you need to open up this file with WinRare or another archiver program and delete this meta inf directory. And if I can reach around my cat who's trying to be so helpful here. And that's gone. Now we can actually go back to the launcher and launch the game. And we'll see that Optifine is being recognized as installed. And it actually gives you a lot more options in the menus, but really what we're interested in is just the optimizations it makes for people whose computers may not be, you know, the beefiest around. This way you don't have you only have to do this once, and the only time you have to do it ever again is if the mod pack is updated, because everything gets overwritten then. So make sure you keep Optify in a safe place so you don't have to go and find it and download it again. And that should help a lot of people, I think. So hopefully this helped. If it did, leave a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time.